And then it's the thing too, like we really be giving motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt. The problem be this. This what the real problem be. The problem is I can see what a person should be and I'm gonna focus on that versus focusing on what the fuck they is right now. So I literally be giving girls luxury based on the ideal of who they should be versus the reality of who she is. Most of the time, these bitches be fucking hoes right in front of my face. Whole time, I'm trying to get them to not be a hoe. So I'm telling myself that they not a hoe. But they literally still acting like hoes right in front of me. And I'm like, I get to the point where I'm like, okay, now I'm going to just let this hoe be a hoe. And before I before I just shock the shit out of her, I'm going to remove myself. Because if I start treating you like a hoe, you go, you go be like, damn, this nigga bit pimping. Yeah, bitch. But I'm going to just fall back before I do you like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure today gonna be the day that I get a few of them messages. Hopefully it ain't from the weirdos. Hopefully it's from some girls that really wanna like, you know, build and grow in a certain way. And that be the fucked up thing that, that I'm tired of hearing too. Half of these bitches on here be swearing to God that they wanna like build and have something for real. Like, bitch, you don't even know what it really look like a mean to build something. You feel me? Like building something takes time, bitch. Meaning that you might build this wall to a certain height and that bitch might fuck around and crumble a little bit. What you gonna do, bitch? You gonna give up or is you gonna continue to build the shit back until you get the beams and the fucking shit corrected to where it won't fall? That's what you gotta understand. Y'all get the building, the shit fall down, and now y'all wanna quit and don't wanna build no more. That's the fucking problem. Y'all don't know what it look like to build a fucking relationship. Like, literally, y'all have no clue. Like, anyways... Like I said before, I will be a life coach very soon. So to the females or the guys or anybody that just want coaching in any area in life, business, wellness, relationship, personal, uh, group, any type of coaching that you may need. The whole point of life coach is to, you know, better, better understand yourself first and foremost, but achieve whatever goals that you have personal or you know reach your full potential in whatever area it is that you want to reach your full potential that's the whole point of it is to help you reach your full potential think about a basketball coach or a football coach they want to see you win so as a life coach i want to see you win and i'm gonna have y'all go through a few seminars before you can even sign up because i'm not finna waste my time and I don't get like this until I done being nice already. I done been nice. Now I ain't got time to be nice no more. Now it's like, fuck that. Because sometimes, you know, certain people, they only could hear that disrespectful shit. They can't hear respectful shit. They can't hear when you trying to be nice. They can't hear when you trying to be, you know, uh, concerned or... or, or respectable of their feelings and shit. Like, now it's like, fuck your feelings. Because at the end of the day... It's like, your feelings ain't logical. Your feelings ain't making sense. You know what I'm saying? The way you feel ain't even making sense based on reality for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, make that shit make sense, dog. And then it's crazy because me and Bae, we, we be doing some we be doing some opposite ass shit. When I'm turned up like this and I'm on a bitch neck, she be like, chill, babe, don't do it like that. But when she on a bitch neck, I be like, chill, babe, don't do it like that. <laughs> like, we be like trying to... Save a bitch all the time. So in other words, you could talk to a hoe with respect, but the hoe gonna feel disrespected. But if you talk to this bitch disrespectfully, she gonna feel like you just talk to her like a queen. Go figure. Like, and I ain't dealing with them dumb bitches like that no more, bro. Straight up. At the end of the day, if I told my girl last night, I was like, bro, we gotta stop calling each other my nigga and my bitch. Like, you ain't my bitch, you my wife, you my lady, you my queen. I ain't your nigga, don't call me your nigga. Like, if you call me your nigga, I'm not going to respond to that shit. I'm going to act like I'm not even there. I'm your man or your husband. You my wife or my woman, period. We ain't doing that lame ass shit no more. Or it's bae. Period, point blank. That's mainly the one That's mainly the one we use anyways. Either bae or I might call her mama or she might call me papacito. But we ain't doing that my nigga and my bitch shit. That shit dead. Y'all need to take that shit out of y'all vocabulary if y'all in a relationship. For real, that shit is disrespectful. I don't give a fuck what context you use it in.
Hey, man, I'm going to just put it to y'all like this. Y'all better go ahead and get right and get ready to enroll in this coaching. Because I'm going to be coaching people to victory. I'm about to coach y'all to the best lives y'all ever had. I want to I wanna really help y'all for real. Single moms, single women, single dudes, couples, business owners, future business owners, people that, you know, struggle with mental battles and shit. Like, bring it all to me, bro. I'm going I'm to really coach your ass to a victory. You going to feel like Jordan and... All the game sixes, goddamn it. You gonna feel like Jordan six and zero in the finals. I'm telling you, you come over here and fuck with this shit. This shit gonna be better than what you ever experienced. But like I said, y'all gonna have to sign up for the Patreon first. Then y'all gonna have to watch the videos and really make sure this is what y'all want. Cause when I start coaching y'all, I'm gonna be calling your phone. I'm gonna be texting your phone. I'm gonna be holding you accountable. I'm going to be making 